A COVID-19 outbreak in President Biden's inner circle has the administration once again stressing the importance of getting vaccinated and boosted. Reporter Mary Alice Parks explains how the outbreak is affecting some of the president's plans. With COVID-19 cases ticking up in parts of the country fueled by the highly contagious BA2 Omicron subvariant, Dr. Anthony Fauci says every American must continue to assess the risk for themselves. This is not going to be eradicated and it's not going to be eliminated. So you're going to make a question and an answer for yourself, for me as an individual, for you as an individual. What is my age? What is my status? Do I have people at home who are vulnerable. At least 21 states and territories have seen new infections climb 10% or more in the last week. And 14 states, plus Washington, D.C., are seeing modest upticks in hospital admissions. I think the BA2 wave is serious. It's going to really test us in the coming weeks. An outbreak of high-profile positive cases touching President Biden's inner circle. Agriculture Secretary Tom Vilsack announcing he has mild symptoms. Several dozen cases have been linked to D.C.'s elite gridiron dinner. President Biden did not attend that dinner, and the White House insists that precautions are still being taken to keep the president safe, like regular testing. But they are acknowledging that he could still get infected. Remember, he's fully vaccinated, he's doubly boosted, and most of the time people who get anywhere near him need to be tested. As many Americans are looking to return to some sense of normalcy, so is the president. If you are vaccinated and boosted, the message here is that the risk of a serious illness uh, is very, very low. And that's why you see President Biden engaging in that schedule. He does not want to backslide in terms of uh, restrictions or masks or anything else any more than most Americans do. Biden intends to keep traveling. The White House saying he will travel more this month, including visits to Iowa and North Carolina this week. Mary Alice Parks, ABC News, Washington.